I just want to not wake up to a rat staring me in the face. Many people staying in one of San Diego's safe sleeping sites say it's anything but. And we appreciate you being with us this Friday evening. I'm Kimberly Hunt. Some who left San Diego streets to stay at Olot, the site, they tell us the living conditions are inhumane. But as ABC 10 News anchor Max Goldwasser tells us, city officials are pushing back on those claims. It's been a year since the Olot safe sleeping site opened on the edge of Balboa Park. About 400 tents, space for two people each, giving the unhoused community a place to call home. I was grateful, I still am grateful, to have any place to stay that's, you know, inside a confined space. Rebecca Yunkis moved in about a month ago. She says she's already starting to lose her patience. I just want to not wake up to rats staring me in the face. These are the rats she's talking about. Photos apparently taken by others who live there shared with ABC 10 News. They say the site is totally infested and claim some rats were even found in the water supply. The city says there's no evidence of that. Tony Garitian says he saw it firsthand. They removed the top of like where the water filtration system is and they, they all jumped out. And you could see that they were eating the stuff and making nests there. And then that's when I realized, okay, that's why I'm sick. Garitian and others making that claim did not share any specific photos of the rats in the supply. In my hand is a copy of the petition signed by more than 100 Olot residents backing these claims and demanding the infestation be immediately and safely eliminated. City officials coming back with this statement. The city was notified earlier this week by site operator Dreams for Change that a small isolated group of rodents had been found near one drinking water dispenser at one of the four tiers at Olot. Action was immediately taken to protect individuals and prevent future rodents. In fact, they say county health officials advised no further action was necessary. And all this comes as city council members unanimously voted on Tuesday to expand the safe sleeping program by almost 50% to help offset the loss of about 600 shelter beds by the end of the year. Those who live there hoping to see major changes before that happens. A place called safe sleeping, it's not the safe at all. There's a lot of things there that aren't safe. Near Balboa Park, Max Goldwasser, ABC 10 News.